You know what? Some uh, good work by those those younger players. Those guys are trying to make the team, and uh, some decent pace. You know, there's always lots of exhibition hockey stuff you want to clean up, but uh, good on them for. We got down to ten forwards fairly early, and uh, I think some of them are still feeling the effects of a pretty tough camp, but they found a way. And we know it's obviously a work in progress for a while, but the power play, some early results there. Nice. Yeah, and and we haven't, you know, just because of the nicks and bruises that we have, we haven't been able to run the group together. But the pieces, some of the pieces were out there. It's good to get a goal. All of that feels good and a little confidence. And nice to see that from Bob in his last start of the preseason. Yeah, you want those guys. Uh, we we got uh, we got our goaltenders dialed in. I think in in terms of the workload. So it was good that you. You know that we get to play a team that's that's dangerous and some highly skilled players, so they get some real saves. Even though it's exhibition, the puck uh, they're still shooting the puck hard. Alexi Hepiniemi was a guy who was filling on both the top line and that power play unit. He was really jumping on those pucks there. What did you yeah, think about he's just been really good at camp and a player, a prime example of a guy that that did what he needed to do in camp. He, he d defined himself and kind of described himself by his play. I mean, I know him, but I don't. And then. We've used them all over the ice, and the joke in there, we were going to have him run, play D next game to see how he looked. Um, he's had an excellent camp, a very, very smart player, and he plays, uh, he's got a skill level that means he can play with good players, and uh, and the smarts that he can kind of play up and down the lineup. Not to overplay this, but on a night, on one of the last preseason games, he's fighting for one of those spots. To really take advantage of right. the Right, understand it, right? You know, I think sometimes when you first come in the league, you got lots of time. And then you get a year or two under your study. This is a really important camp for him, and he's been, he's been very, very good. Uh, very good. Justin Sorda, did, he, did we see him warm up and come off? Yeah, you know what? Um, no, he didn't, he didn't take the afternoon warm up. He had a morning skate. He did skate. So he's been cleared to skate, but we didn't get him cleared to play in a game. Okay. That's all. So he's, we saw, we saw him he's been on the ice, full contact, ready to go, and uh, we just... God, we want to be really careful with these things. So we just kind of, if it didn't look 100%, he feels good, but uh, we'll wait a couple of days. And now just mindset as a team going forward, one last preseason game, a rematch with these guys. Before I think everybody, you know, we're going to have a whole bunch of guys come into our lineup. We think we've we've kept people out of our lineup so that they can get a solid practice in tomorrow. So I would expect to see, you know, all of kind of Cousins and Bennett and Chuck and, uh, and these guys come back in and they'll get a, another game. So you expect those guys to play? I expect together. them to, yeah. A big chunk of those. White will come back in, or Hagee will come back in. Um, well, that, that's the plan. We'll know at the end of practice tomorrow. We'll push them hard a little bit just to get them to make sure they're right. And if they're right, they'll all play. Thanks, Thanks.